Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about water filtration and some new products that are out for your RV that should help get cleaner water when you're out traveling. And so we're going to roll that introduction footage and see you on the other side and we're going to explain these new products. So we were recently at the Tampa RV show where we met the folks from Clear 2.0 and they went over some of their products and one of them is these, these water filters. And they gave us one to try and so we're going to hook it up today and, and see how it works and we'll do a little bit of test on this. So the difference between this filter and this filter besides being green is the fact that this has solid carbon in it. And so this one will filter down to one micron. These are loose granular carbon. They filter at 20 microns. So obviously this is going to filter a lot better. The other issue with these that we learned is that because it's granular, the water develops a path through the filter, sort of like um, if you remember ant farms when you were a kid, and the ants make little paths through the sand. That's what happens inside of this. Not ants, but water. will make a little pass through the filter and the filter will not filter as well because of that. It just lets the water pass through. This one is a solid carbon filter so it cannot do that. It, water has to be forced through the filter and this supposedly does a much better job. Like I said, we're going to test this out. Um, but I want to have the folks from Clear 2.0 explain a little bit more about this filter. So I'm going to roll some footage that we did at the RV show and then I will meet you over by our water inlet and we'll hook this filter up. Hi everybody, I'm here with Keith and you're with Clear 2.0 Water? With Clear 2.0 Water. One of the things that are different about Clear 2.0 Water is we all manufacture with solid carbon block. So for a regular inline filter that could be anywhere from 20 to 100 micron our solid carbon block is one micron so it will take care of all of the hydrogen sulfide all of the particulates it will take care of all of the lead the mercury the chlorines all of the contaminants you have to deal with in water we're going to be able to do that and just to give you an example and show you so for many of your customers i don't know if you can see this okay but this is actually your normal granular carbon that comes in most inline filters. So this would be like the blue filter that you typically buy at Walmart or, or the camp stores? That's correct. This is the, the blue filter. For those who buy the white filter, this would be what's inside for the most part, which is granular carbon. Now granular carbon is really good for a lot of different things. It takes care of mostly aesthetics. So it actually is not a filter it, itself. It actually treats the water as it goes through. So carbon's really good at that. The problem that you see on this is once the water goes through, it creates channels, and then that water follows those channels each time. So the level of filtration is the best when you start, and it continues to go down over time. So for the most part, the water in granular carbon doesn't really remove some of the harsher chemicals and harsher uh, issues to deal with. Right. On the other hand, this is ours, which is a solid carbon block. So you, if you can see in the end, you actually all the water passes through yeah. and actually has to physically go through the wall of the solid carbon block itself and comes in our normal sized uh, filter. So it hooks to your hose end just like normal. Everything is done exactly the same as what they're currently purchasing already. The only difference is what's inside is the solid carbon block. Uh, overall and again that gives us one micron level of filtration to give you an idea a human hair is anywhere from 30 to 70 microns so that'll give you some idea of what right. one micron level is it's going to block everything and it's going to treat the water as it goes by so much higher now between the two we also have about 25 percent more carbon by weight than the current filter that most people are using uh, overall so just for comparison this, this filter element here, the loose carbon, that give you a filtration, you said it was 20? 
this particular one is 20, there are ones that are up to 100. Right. So it depends and, on and which filter you buy. And this is one. One. One micron. So a big, big difference. Okay, so we're here at the water tap for our campsite, and we're going to tap, we're going to remove the blue filter that we've been using, and we're going to swap in the new green filter. We're going to go green. So one of the things that's recommended by the manufacturer and Zephyr Travels is you definitely want to have one of these short hoses in here to give them some flexibility when you attach the filter. And the other thing you want to make sure you do when you hook up your water filter is always put the filter at the tap end, not on the trailer. This will protect your trailer from any type of damage. If you were to have this screwed into your trailer like this, someone could walk by and bang into it, bend it, break it, and you're out camping with no water. So definitely want to have this hooked up at the tap end where it's safer. All right, hopefully everything's tight enough. I'm not going to get wet or find out. All right, so this is in place. We'll run some water through it and make sure everything runs clear and make sure everything is good. And then we'll do what we normally do. We'll make iced tea and whatever things we drink and we'll see how this water tastes, if it tastes any better. So stay tuned for a follow-up video on that. So Clear 2O filters are available online and I will put the link down below in the description and also I will flash it below on the screen here but you can also buy these at Walmart and other places he they told us that they are trying to get into multiple uh, stores with these so you'd be more and more available they sell for about $25 so they may be a little bit more expensive than the blue filters but I think the results are definitely going to be worth it They've also got some other new products coming out that we're going to show you about in additional footage here. So in addition to that, for those who actually are looking to be able to go camping for a weekend, we also make a smaller size, which we call our camper. And it's going to be available in April. It's the same exact filtration inside. The only difference is we've added a layer of 20 micron uh, pre-filter inside this wow. as well. So this has a little different technology inside to give you a flow rate at such a small size but it gives you the same level of protection as our solid carbon block inside. It's solid carbon block as well. And that's gonna be available for anybody who's like trying to, they're wanting to do tent camping. Right. Uh, they may have a pop-up, they wanna go for a weekend, that they can buy a small filter and be able to use that as opposed to buying the larger filter. Right, and this gives you like two layers of filtration. That's correct. Over that's the correct. single layer. That's yep. good. Yep, so we're but, interested in trying to make it so that people can choose the type of filtration that best fits them. Right. We did try the filter over the last couple of days and noticed a significant improvement in the taste of our water. So go to clear2o.com and order your filter. And when you do, use the code Zephyr Travels to receive 20% off. This code is good until the end of February 2020. So make sure you use it and order your filter now. We really think that this is a much better way to go. And you're going to see that Zephyr Travels is going to go green in the future with these filters. So as always, guys, I thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that you know when we post new videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you come along for the ride and our adventures. Until the next time, we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody.